Uh, hey, so I got a request on Tumblr to do a Holtzman hairstyle from a, the new Ghostbusters film, and it was based on these pictures. And someone said they thought that was a really good way of uh, doing it, the final product. So I'm gonna do a tutorial on how I did that. <laughs> I've never done one before, so uh, this should be fun. When it's slightly damp, I like to put styling mousse on it, and I use uh, these little uh, pin curl clips. Uh, I've seen a few people uh, do it with curling iron, and I did try it like that for the past couple of days because I didn't have time to set my hair. But yeah, I'm gonna pin curl it because that's the way in the photos that got requested. Um, seems to me the easiest way to do it because I've obviously seen a lot more photos since the film came out of Holtzman's hair, like from the back, from the front, and it is different throughout the film. Sorry, I'm just doing one without telling you how to do it. Uh, but it can be quite random, this, so you just, yeah, that's too big a section, you're just taking little sections, putting your finger up like this, and sort of wrapping around it, and then when you get to the end of it, you slide your finger out and you sort of just roll towards the head. I think I'm just gonna uh, do the rest and fast forward through that until we get to uh, the front bit because I do this bit slightly differently. Again, there are a lot tighter curls and I'll just talk through that. So uh, as we can see, I've kind of done all of the back of it. It's quite, it's not very uniform in any way. Oh, my hand is really in front of that. It's not very uniform in any way. Um, and that's basically all you've got to do on the back bit for this front bit because uh, looking at the style it's sort of when it's out it will be uh, back combed a little bit and it kind of has like an end there so like that's just at the top part of your head like the top back part of your head right there um and so from there i'm just gonna do Again, just pretty normal pin curls, except I like to make these ones a bit more uniform. So as we can see, I've kind of uh, got all of this front section now. It's a bit neater than it is around the back. But if you curl it, you should try and get it like right the way around. Because uh, I think the first few times I did it, my curls were set like a little bit that way. Because that's how I'm used to pin curling my hair for the 1940s styles. But uh, this works better if it goes as tight as you can get it. But yeah, so that's it. Uh, then you can either sleep in it or you can put it under like a dryer hood or you can just blast it with a hairdryer for a bit and see if that does anything. Okay so this is probably the easiest part of the hairstyle. Um, it's pretty much dry now and uh, yeah you've just got to take them all out and it should be pretty curly. Okay, so once they're all out, it will be a pretty uh, curly all the way around. Um, and if you just run your fingers through it a couple of times, I always feel like that helps quite a lot. To just comb the curls out of this bit. And just have it as flat against your head as you can. It doesn't matter if it's slightly messy, because obviously Holton's is. What you want to do is a bit from under over the top like so then grab a bobby pin and just slide it in like so and then if you cross that one over with another bobby pin And it will just be like kind of curly and loose at the back. 
what you're gonna want to do now, or what I do, is um, maybe backcomb this bit here just a tad. And you take your hand and you sort of sweep from the side here to the corner of your, from like this bit, the corner of your temple, and just pull it round. This is always when I find extra bobby pins and stuff that I've just left in my hair. And you sort of curl that in a bit. And just kind of prod it about until it feels right. One place to stick pins in it until it feels secure. So basically I'm just going to loosen all of these curls to make it messier. And as you can see it gets more holes for me, but it's still quite flat. Um, so then what you're going to want to do is obviously just start back combing. Okay, so now you have this big holes mini mess and you can just, if you've got shorter hair than I do, you can just sort of leave it at that, but obviously mine's a bit too long at the side still. So I'm just going to take sort of the back, middle to back section of it and um, another bobby pin and um, just pin it in place. And I'm going to toy with the front of it a little bit. While you're back combing, if you um, if you just when you're holding your section up and then after you've done it, you just spritz it with hairspray a little bit, it will hold its position better. Because um, a couple of people asked how I got it up there and how I got it to stay, this is how I managed that. Um, just back combing and hairspray. So, you can just, obviously it's the Holtzman thing now, if, I think if you're cosplaying her you can tell who you were going for at this point. Um, I'm just gonna stick a couple more pins in it to get it how I generally like it. If you want to smooth over this bit as well, just gently go over your back combing with a brush and it will neaten it out a bit. That's it, that's done pretty much, I think, in my opinion. I'm just gonna stick one more pin in. Okay, so that's how I do my Holtzman hair. Um, bang on your Holtzman glasses. And you set. <laughs> okay, so I hope you enjoyed this hair tutorial. I enjoyed making it. Um, and have fun doing Holtzman hair. Totally a little off the sofa.